Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to share a quick video about my recent drugstore skincare routine, I guess is what we're gonna call it. Um, I picked up all these products at Walgreens recently and I'll be honest with you, if you've been reading my blog for any amount of time, you probably know that I have been struggling with adult cystic acne for the last, let me see, I'm 29, so probably the last five years, which is difficult as an adult because you kind of think that when you're an adult that you don't have things like acne and that you don't break out and everything is great in life, but I am here to tell you that that is unfortunately not true. So it has been a struggle to say the least. I'm trying to, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to talk about my skin without getting really emotional and crazy because it is a legitimate struggle to go through, you know, having acne as an adult. Especially when you work like me in the beauty industry and people are always looking at you and thinking, you know, oh, well, she has acne, so like, what does she know about beauty? But that's a completely separate rant. But just know that it has been a struggle for me for a very long time and I am finally kind of at a place now where I've tried to go to dermatologists, I've tried drugstore options, I've tried so many different things, and um, I finally feel like now I have a good routine that works for me. So I'm really excited to share it with you, especially because, like I said, these are all drugstore products that you can get. Um, at Walgreens or Dwayne Reed if you're here in the city like me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it because like I said, I could talk about acne forever and I don't want to bore you with all of that because it's weird, right? So anyway, um, I typically, my skincare routine in the morning is I wash my face and then I will apply like a treatment or a toner or something and then a moisturizer and then I start my like primer and makeup routine. And then at night what I do is I typically will use the same products um, that I use in the morning to cleanse and everything but I go through the additional step of removing my eye makeup and removing my face makeup before I cleanse. And that's always something that you should do anyway because face cleanser, especially ones that are medicated, um, like for acne sufferers or anything like that, really they're designed to clean the skin. And cleansers can't remove makeup and clean the skin at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of like the idea, and this is gonna be a weird analogy, of putting a dish in your dishwasher without pre-rinsing it first. I know there are some fancy dishwashers out there that claim that they can, you don't have to pre-rinse first, but I think we all know that nine times out of ten you need to pre-rinse your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. So cleansing your skin is kind of the same thing. If you don't take the makeup off, the cleanser and the medication can actually penetrate into the skin to do its job. So I always make sure that I remove my makeup first, whether it's via a wipe or a makeup remover or whatever I have going on, just to kind of remove that barrier so that my makeup and or my cleanser, excuse me, can really do its job because like I said if it's working to take the makeup away that's great but then actually what happens to your skin underneath does that make sense hope so but what I have been using is the Neutrogena rapid clear stubborn acne cleanser and this is actually designed for skin like mine that breaks out in those really deep red cysts because I don't know if I mentioned this before if I just said that I have adult acne but not only do I have acne as a 29 year old adult but I have the worst kind of acne, which is cystic acne. And quick acne lesson, um, typical pimples are on the surface. Um, cystic acne lives very, very deep in the skin. So a lot of the times topical products are not strong enough to actually penetrate deep enough to work. So a lot of people get really frustrated because nothing seems to work because nothing can get down there. So this is actually formulated for very, very stubborn acne, which is, me if you have cystic acne you understand what i mean a hundred percent so what i do is like i said in the morning i will cleanse my face with that sometimes what i'll even do is i'll let the cleanser sit on my skin as i'm brushing my teeth and then i will rinse it off when i'm done because i feel like those extra couple you know minute or however long i'm brushing my teeth i haven't timed it if we're being honest um really kind of helps the medication to sit and penetrate into my skin that's something else that you should try if you're struggling with skincare let your cleanser sit on the skin for a little bit let the ingredients actually penetrate because if you're just putting it on and then rinsing it off you, the the medications that it, it didn't spend enough time on your skin does that make sense so you want to really give it enough time i'm not saying that you have to keep it on forever but it would probably be beneficial to let it sit just for a couple extra seconds if you have them. So yeah, the rapid 
rapid clear stubborn acne cleanser i can't talk today so if i'm stumbling over my words i apologize in advance is amazing because it doesn't it also doesn't dry out my skin which a lot of acne cleansers tend to do so once i have cleansed i follow that up with a moisturizer and it's really important even though i don't have oily skin that i use an oil-free moisturizer Aside from the whole oil breakout thing, I feel like when I use an oil-free moisturizer, especially in the morning, that my makeup lasts longer. Don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy, but I do feel like that's a thing. So I use the, I'm going to try not to stumble over my words right now, um, the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Moisturizer. Um, it's part of their pink grapefruit line. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, this smells amazing. If you've never smelled the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit line, you need to, I don't, you need to stop watching this. Well, maybe don't stop, but like when we're done, go and smell it, go to Walgreens and get your hands on it because it is amazing. I don't even personally like pink grapefruits, like to eat them, but the scent of this is insane. So I like to use this morning and night. Um, it also has, and I don't want to get the percentage wrong. It has 0.5% salicylic acid in it, which helps to kind of clear your pores and it chemically exfoliate your skin and do all that fun stuff to treat acne, which is really exciting. So I just put one pump of this, work it into my skin, good to go. In the morning, that's my last step. I will leave it at that and then I begin my primer makeup routine. At night though, um, if I have any active blemishes that are on the surface, because like I said, sometimes they're so, so deep in there that, I mean, you can't squeeze them. You can't get anything out. Like they just need to do their thing. And I've unfortunately learned this the hard way. I have the scars to prove it. So if you have a deep one, please do not squeeze it. I know everybody says that, but I've tried and I have failed and I promise you, you're just doing more harm than good. But when I have ones that are more on the surface, ones that I feel like are starting to come out, and if you have cystic acne, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know the difference between a pimple that is deep in the surface and one that's gonna clear up in a few days. Sorry, I realize that I also talk with my hands a lot too. When I have blemishes like that, I will use a spot treatment, which is um, also by Neutrogena, and it is the on-the-spot acne treatment. And it looks like this, it comes on a little baby tube, and it's white so the reason why I don't use it during the day is because it is very visible on the skin so I put it on at night I pack it on and then I let it dry and then I go to sleep it has benzoyl peroxide in it which much like salicylic acid acts um, to kill bacteria chemically exfoliate the skin and kind of help to bring everything up and out and clear it out um, my face right now might look okay because I have a lot of makeup on but I don't know if you can see here if there's a dark spot um that is a cyst that is the size of a quarter that i have had for three weeks and it hurts very very much it hurts when i sleep it hurts when i'm on the phone it hurts just randomly when i'm walking to the subway but i've been using these products for about a week and i've noticed that it's starting the inflammation is starting to go down i'll be honest i don't use the spot treatment on it because it's so so deep in there but i feel like the cleanser and the moisturizer are helping over here on this side of my face, this is so weird to like show you all of my blemishes, but whatever. Over here on this side of my face, I have two that are in a line. I'll be completely honest with you. Those are caused from not washing my makeup brushes. And I know this because I was just thinking the other day, you know what, Casey, your bronzer brush is looking a little suspect. You need to wash this. Well, guess what? I have breakouts here and I have breakouts here. What do you think I put there? Yeah bronzer I did it to myself it's fine but I also know that these are product or like makeup bacteria related breakouts because they're topical they're on the surface and I know that they'll go away within a week so I have been treating them with the spot treatment every single night and in about three days I have noticed a humongous improvement in them and the best part is that my skin is not dry because if you have acne or if you've ever used a lot of acne products you know that a lot of the times they will dry you out and yeah they might take the blemish away but now you're left with like this weird scaly dry patch. Nobody's got time for that. Like, how are you supposed to wear makeup? How are you supposed to feel confident in your skin when your skin is like dry and flaking? And let's just draw more attention to the fact that we have skin issues, shall we? But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh no, that is not it. One more thing, oh, maybe my favorite product. I can't believe I almost forgot this. So I am fortunate in the sense that I, well, as fortunate as you can be with adult cystic acne. 
I am fortunate in the sense that I really only break out on my face. Now, um, I know that there are many people out there who suffer from acne all over their body, um, or if you're like me, you might just get the occasional breakout due to a product, or if it's super hot outside, or summer, or just like a seasonal thing. So um, luckily Neutrogena has us covered with their Body Clear Body Wash. Um, it has, let me see, I just want to make sure I'm getting this right, 2% salicylic acid in it, which is a higher concentration than you can use on your face, mainly because the skin on your body is different than the skin on your face, which is much thinner. So it is a higher concentration. Do not use this on your face. Don't do it. No, more medication does not mean better. It's just formulated for different skin. But um, this is actually the second one that I've bought because I've been using this for a while. Number one, because it works. Number two, why do you think? It's the pink grapefruit line. I'm obsessed with it. But I use this, um, especially like during the summer when you know it's hot outside and this is gonna be gross, but like when I'm sweating because I'm out in New York City and I'm walking everywhere, so I am like sweating all the time and I hate it and ugh, I'm ready for fall. But what this does is it really helps to clear up your body breakouts or prevent them if you know that you are prone to body breakouts. Um, I also feel like, because I do get spray tans every once in a while, um, I feel like the spray tan solution makes me break out a little bit, so I definitely will be using this as long as I do that. But yeah, that's my new updated drugstore skincare routine. Um, like I said, I've been going to dermatologists for a while and I've tried prescriptions, I've tried drugstore, I've tried natural, I've tried using nothing. Like, you know you get desperate when you're like, not using anything because everything makes my face, you know, die. But um, I'm really, really happy with these products and I'm really glad that I was just able to run out to Walgreens or Dwayne Reed if you're in New York City and pick them up. So be sure to check them out if you have acne like mine or if you just want to keep your skin clear. If anything, this body wash and the spot treatment are must-haves because everybody probably gets the occasional body breakout and everybody gets the occasional face breakout. So if you're in either of those boats or if you're like me and you're just breaking out all the time, definitely check them out. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I have a link to more details about these products in the um, description bar below. So also be sure to check that out. So again, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.